I recently reviewed the Ugly Stick Tiger Elite and the Ugly Stick Striper bait casting rods and uh, today I'm going to review the spinning versions of the same rods because the action and the power of those rods are very different than their bait casting versions. Here are the specs on the Ugly Stick Striper. 7 foot, medium heavy, one piece, lures up to one ounce, six guides, line rating 12 to 25, guide stainless steel, and here is the rod action, moderate fast, okay? And the other rod is Ugly Stick Tiger Elite, 80 bucks. The one I'm reviewing is also seven foot, but it's heavy and it's one piece, worth up to 5 ounces, okay, 7 guides instead of 6, uh, ugly tough guides, and uh, it doesn't say what the action is. Before I start my review today, if you're looking for a reel to color match these rods, this white reel here is Daiwa Laguna 4000, it has five bearings and digi gear, pretty smooth, costs about 50 bucks, but there will be a lot of clearances on this reel because it's an old model and that way it's introducing all kinds of replacement. So uh, look out for a deal and pick up one of these. And this one is Daiwa Vadel, costs 150 bucks, feels almost the same as the Daiwa Laguna. They weigh the same. And they feel the same. This one is mag sealed, but you know, if you're a freshwater angler, why do you care about mag seal? But it color matches, I think, pretty good with the Ugly Stick Tiger Elite or Light series. I'm gonna go very quickly over the components of these two rods because I reviewed the bait casting versions of the same rods and I'll put links to those reviews in the description. And I want to spend more time on the test curves of these uh, rods. Both rods have these uh, flared rubber butts that I always cut to the same diameter as the handle so it doesn't get snagged in the rod holder when you're trying to pull it out in the rush of the moment. The handles, EVA foam versus my favorite material, rubberized cork. It's interesting that the spinning Tiger White has the same fat piece here that I love so much on the bait casting version because it helps you hold the rod and the reel in a single grip but here it doesn't participate in the grip because you hold the rod over here so maybe they just reused the whole handle so not really a benefit here here's the reel seat again brush metal versus chrome finish interestingly the foregrip on the striper rod is bigger even though that's a rod rated for up to one ounce it's medium heavy power and this one is rated for up to five ounces because it's heavy power so you think somebody may need the support more on this rod I mean I think even this one is too big and unnecessary so I don't care but just interesting and then the same finish and the guides the striper has six guides while the Tiger White has seven. All right, let's load them up. Okay, here is the four ounce test. Now remember the striper spinning rod is rated for up to one ounce and it's medium heavy power. The Tiger White is rated for up to five ounces and it's heavy power. But the rod that bends first and lower in the blank is actually the heavy power Tiger White. Okay, it starts to bend lower in the blank than the striper. And that's why in the middle of the two rods, the striper rod is higher because it doesn't bend much in the first half of the blank. And then as you reach the tip, you know, the top foot of the rods, Basically, the striper rod takes a sharp turn and has a very fast, I don't know if very fast, but it has a fast tip. If I didn't know that was the striper rod, I would think that this is the catfish rod because 
when I compared the striper versus catfish bait casters, the catfish had such a fast tip, while the striper rod had pretty parabolic action. As for the tiger white, the bait caster had a beautiful parabolic curve and so does the spinning rod. Going to 8 ounces now, changes nothing, only everything that I told you is more pronounced. Look at this beautiful curve on a technically heavy power spinning rod. Okay, the Tiger White, beautiful curve. The Striper, too fast tip man. Here's one bottle, half a kilogram. Beautiful man, I love this Tiger White rod. Too bad it's discontinued now. Or you can buy the Tiger Elite but or Elite but with the ugly handle. Uh, but uh, look at the tip. Look at the tip on the striper. Too thin. This tip is dangerously easy to snap if you try to cast more than one ounce. The rod is strong, but just if you're casting worse with this rod, be careful. And here is one kilogram just for the heck of it. Hey, what's going on here? The striper rod, rated for up to one ounce, has much stiffer blank all the way to the tip when it all of a sudden becomes too soft. So uh, the spinning striper rod, not one of my favorites. I love all ugly sticks, I use all, but you know, I use it for small fish like drum or channel catfish. The tiger white is absolutely gorgeous this is what I want to see now here is something I find quite interesting here are two tiger whites one spinning one bait casting version what is the difference in action they're both quite parabolic okay not a big difference the big difference is that the spinning rod which is the one closest to us is heavy power okay and the bait casting is medium power okay normally i prefer the medium heavy versions of all rods okay for catfish and carp you want medium heavy but that's why in the first video i told you don't be afraid to buy the medium power of the bait casting versions and a subscriber told me especially for kayaking that would be perfect because the medium power tiger white is not a soft rod i'm talking about the bait casting version and uh, on the other hand don't be afraid to buy the heavy power from the spinning version because it's not a stiff rod trust me i don't like stiff rods and the heavy power tiger white or elite has just beautiful action it bends all throughout the blank even here you can see actually the there is a small piece there is a small segment where the medium power bait casting version is actually higher than the heavy power spinning version the heavy power spinning version has absolutely beautiful through the entire blank bend and here is another interesting comparison okay these two rods are both striper medium heavy rods rated for up to one ounce now if you watch my comparison for striper versus catfish for the bait casters i told you i absolutely love the action of the striper bait casting rod and you can see it again here the rod closest to me is the striper bait casting version and the one further away you can see the spinning reel over there is the spinning one look at this the spinning one has a stiffer blank all the way to the tip and then a much softer tip which i don't like i want the rod to bend through the entire blank and not too soft a tip so the spinning striper has a curve very much like the bait casting catfish if that makes sense to you 
Now here we have the striper spinning and the catfish bait casting rods slightly raised up so I can show you why I don't like fast tips. Look at these blanks first. The one closest to us is the striper. It's obviously slightly softer than the catfish and has even faster tip than the catfish or that already has very fast tip. But look at the blanks. No bend in the blanks, man. No bend in the blanks for the first three quarters of the rod, particularly for the catfish. Okay? And then you get to the tips and you look. All of the bend, all of the flex happens in the last foot, foot and a half of the rod. So while these rods have a reputation for being practically indestructible, you have to know all of your action, all of your absorption, shock absorption is happening in the top one foot of the rod. The rest you're using just as good as a, you know, a broomstick or something. And I just can't escape the feeling that such a fast tip would eventually snap. So I've never heard of anybody snapping the tips on these, but I just don't want to use. It's just not my favorite, okay? They still work fine, but I don't like this kind of stiff blank and then super soft tip. Not my thing. And here's my usual summary guys. I'm not gonna read everything on the screen here because you can pause and do this yourself but I do want to make a final few comments on these two rods. The spinning striper rod is unfortunately one of the very few ugly sticks that I do not recommend. Nothing wrong with the components of the rod. It's a very durable rod for just 40 bucks. I just think the blank is too stiff for what this rod is designed to do and it just doesn't help you play the fish at all. If you do play a fish with this rod, all of the shock absorption will happen with the tip and the tip is too soft. So I don't know what fish would be good to target with this rod. I'm sure it'll be fine for channel catfish but I personally prefer much softer blanks in the first half of the rod if I play channel catfish. So I get some kind of joy from fighting the small ones. Now the spinning tiger light or elite or elite or whatever you want to call it. In the 7 foot one piece heavy power on the other hand. It's just a jewel that everybody needs to have. Everybody who does any kind of carp fishing or catfishing needs to have in their collection in my opinion just because of how amazing this blank is you know it starts bent all the way down from the handle and bends all the way through the tip and it's never too soft or too stiff don't get scared from the heavy power you know how much i hate stiff rods if i tell you this rod is not stiff it isn't. It's medium heavy at best and maybe even on the soft side of medium heavy. And that's all I have for this review guys. I can blab about these two rods for another 30 minutes. Trust me, I can. But I'm trying really hard to keep my reviews under 15 minutes. But uh, if you have any kind of question about these rods or any other ugly sticks, please uh, leave it in the comments below. I love reading and replying to all comments. And uh, I will see you with uh, my next uh, review.